Shout out to Naruto. Shout out to everybody that watches Naruto. What's up? What is up guys? Key P, BeatsbyKey.com. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the weekend type vocal effects in FL Studio 20 using nothing but Waves plugins. The beauty of Waves plugins, you are able to use this in any DAW that accepts third party plugins. Today, we're gonna be focusing on the final plugins and the presets that I use to make this vocal chain for the weekend vocal effect. If you could, if you find this valuable, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you comment below on what kind of vocal effect that you wanna hear next. Without further ado, let's get into this thing. It is tutorial time. I'm gonna be focusing on the plugins and the presets that I use in order to get the weekend type vocals. Before I get into that, I just wanna let you know that I used a Rode NT2 a microphone and I recorded that into a Focusrite Scarlett 6i6 audio interface. The audio interface volume, I have that set to 6 out of 10 and I recorded the vocals all raw. So no, no compressors are added on it, there's no effects added. If you want my vocal presets to properly work for your vocals, I suggest you do the same kind of settings as, as me. Yes, I understand that there's different factors when it comes to recording your vocals, you know, what kind of audio interface do you have, what kind of microphone do you have, all that stuff. But for now, I'm just letting you know what I use. That way you can determine if it, this will work for you or not. So we're going to start with the main vocals. As you can see, I have it recorded right here. I have this tracked out to three, and you can see that this is going to be tracked out to three right here. I have the main vocals right here, the weekend main vocals, and I have the main vocal effects. So they're two different Studio Rack plugins. If you're not familiar with Studio Rack, I do have a couple videos showing how I use Studio Rack and why it's important to use in your vocal chains. I do have an artist series video playlist on my YouTube as well in case you guys are interested in learning a little bit more in depth tutorials. I'm gonna start by turning off all these plugins. I'm gonna show you a preview of what my vocals sound like just raw. So we're gonna listen to it right now. I put you on top put you on top I claimed you so proud and openly I try my best to impersonate the weekend's vocals however I do not have that range so maybe you guys have that range and I hope that these vocal effects will help you achieve that vocal effect that you're looking for but we are gonna turn on these vocal effects here just make sure that those two are on. And now we are gonna go through each plugin. Waves Tune Real Time is Auto Tune. I found out that this song in particular is set to a D sharp minor. So let's listen to what that sounds like. I put you on top. Hold on one second here. I'm gonna fast forward it to right here. I claim you so proud and openly. I don't know if The weekend uses that much auto-tune, but for my vocals, I definitely needed to use that much. You guys are able to determine the speed yourself when using this vocal preset by just uh, clicking here and moving this up or down. The lower the speed is in milliseconds, the faster that it's gonna be changing keys. So the next thing I have in here is a noise suppressor. So this is just to get the the background noise out of your vocals. You know, some people have fans in the backgrounds. You're not gonna hear a big difference when I press play, but yellow highlighter will indicate that it, it is working. So let's hear it. I claim you so proud and openly and when times were rough. You are able to increase this as high as 100 right here, but you're gonna see that it takes out a lot of the main vocals or the frequencies that you want in the vocals. You gotta be careful when selecting the amount of how much you wanna take out. So let's listen to an example if we have this set to 100. I claim you so proud and openly and when times were rough. So you obviously heard a big difference. I have this set to 10. I feel like that takes out the perfect amount of background noise. Moving on, I use an F6 EQ. Here I do what is called an EQ sweep or an EQ reduction for all you technical people out there. What I'm doing is just taking out the unwanted frequencies in the vocals. I have a video showing you more about an EQ sweep in that artist playlist that I was talking about. So go ahead and check that out if you wanna learn more. So let's go ahead and listen to what this sounds like. I claimed you so proud and oh, 
and then with I claimed you so proud and openly. So it got rid of the bass, a lot of mumble in the, the vocals that we didn't need. The next thing that we have is an SSLE channel, one of my favorite plugins to use for EQing. Again, I do have a video showing you how I achieve what I'm looking for in the vocals with this EQ. So we can listen to what it sounds like with and without. So without first. I claimed you so proud with and openly and when times were rough. You heard an increase in the high frequencies and the high mid frequencies. And then I also took out a lot of the lows because I felt like the weekend does not have a lot of bass in his vocals when he's singing. All right. The next thing that I have is an SLA 76, a really good compressor. I wanted to compress this vocal a little bit more so the lows meet the high transients in the high parts of the vocals. I made the attack and release right in the middle ratio set at four and you can hear what this sounds like with and without it. I claimed you so proud and openly. All right, moving on, we are going to be using another compressor. I use this compressor to get back the tonality in the vocals. This is just to make the vocals a little bit warmer. So I'm going to press play and that way you can hear what it sounds like all together. I claimed you so proud With it and on. openly and when times were rough. Without I again. claimed you so proud and openly. It's very subtle, but to me, you can hear the warmth in the vocals increase. Moving on, we got the RDSer, the Renaissance DSer. RDSer is just taking out the harsh S sounds in the vocals. It's in the high frequencies of the vocals. This is what I have it set at. Basically, I have the range set at negative eight and the threshold set at negative 22.8. We can hear what this sounds like with and without. I claimed you so proud and openly. Without. And when times were rough. All right, so that is what we got for the EQ and compression of that vocal chain. The next thing that we're going to dive into is the vocal effects that I use. We are going to turn this on. I'm going to mute these vocal effects first. So the first thing that I added was a one knob driver. <clears throat> I only added a little bit here. You can see that it's at 0.5. I only added a little bit there to decrease the highs and lows of the vocals and add a little bit of dissonance in it or add a little bit of distortion in it. So we can hear what this sounds like on. I claimed you so proud and With openly and when times were rough. The next thing that I did was add a reverb. I use Manny Reverb quite a bit in a lot of my tutorials. So these are the settings that I have it at. I added a little bit more distortion here. That's what you want to be focusing on when listening to this. So let's go ahead and turn this on and hear what it sounds like all together. I claimed you so proud and openly and when times were rough. You can hear the phaser sound in the reverb as well as the distortion in that tail end when I press pause. So that's what we have as far as the main vocals go. Now, as far as the ad libs go, it's essentially the same vocal chain as the main vocals that we did here. But I do have different effects added for the ad lib effects. So let's go ahead and listen to the ad libs right here. I put you on top. So again, many reverb. I didn't change up a whole lot here. So we can just hear what it sounds like with and without. So without first. I put you on top. And then with. I put you on top. The next thing that I have is a one knob driver again, except this time I increased this sucker all the way to six. Let's hear what this sounds like. I put you on top. Without. I put you on top. Big, big difference. It was a little bit too mono for my liking. So what I did was add a doubler two. You can see the settings that I use. I just decreased the direct gain. So it's, it gave it a nice stereo effect. I put you on top. Without. I put you With. on top. I Perfect. So that is pretty much it, guys. Again, if you want to download this preset kit, the link is in the description so you guys are able to download this and many more presets, whether it's Waves or FL Studio presets. I encourage you to check that out. If you guys found this valuable, I ask that you please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help. I really appreciate your guys' support, and I can't thank you enough for joining in today. With that said, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Until next time, peace.